during protection coordination using ETAF software in the TCC curve how to show the maximum clipping current or uh, minimum minimum of fault current because we need to we need to coordinate uh, between the minimum and maximum fault current rather below the minimum fault current up to the maximum fault current so with the help of tcc curve with the help of etap software i will explain you how to show uh, those maximum clipping current maximum short circuit fault clipping current and minimum current how the system calculated whether it is user defined i will show you so this is star protection mode let's select this one uh, these two delay transformer primary side transformer secondary side press control and select this bus as well then also let's select this outgoing including this relay so this outgoing feeder that means transformer primary side secondary side and this 6.6 kb outgoing feeder outgoing transformer feeder so i have selected this one and and i will create this create star view so i have created this uh, tcc curve let's zoom this sld a little bit okay you can realign it will look good okay so this is transformer primary side breaker uh, relay this is secondary side and this is outgoing okay let's switch off this grid line okay fine now here in the end you can see this these three relays these three relays are clipped this maximum short circuit clipping current you can see this is for relay 6 so what is the value just uh, border and arrow also okay so that means for this relay this is for the uh, transformer primary side relay because this is transformer relay 6 is the transformer primary side relay so here you can see this is cleaved at 2.99 kiloamps at reference voltage 33.6 kV. It is cleaved. Let's go to the relay. For this particular relay, you can see this TCC KA, TCC KA, and here TCC clipping current. This is three phase kiloamps at base kV this is 2.99 so this box is checked so that's why this value is showing in the TCC curve and also line to ground these are also showing in the TCC but what is about this this is this is nothing but minimum short circuit current minimum minimum symmetrical short circuit current so if you want to show in the TCC curve, then what to do? Definitely you need to check this check this box for the three phase short circuit current to be shown in the TCC curve. And also this line to ground, line to ground fault. This is for phase ground, sensitive ground. Okay. So all you can do, but as you can see, this is zero. 
this is zero it is not showing why it is not showing that means if you check if you check this box and click ok then then also then also that minimum short circuit current is not showing so to do that to do that to check what is the minimum three phase short circuit current here and to show in the tcc curve you need to you need to go back to this sld here so we are we are talking about this relay okay now what to do we need to go to this briefcase study case editor star mode study case editor okay here this is the standard you can see this is standard and here, here by default it is showing the maximum short circuit current this is maximum short circuit current okay and this is minimum short circuit current so you need to check this minimum click here minimum then okay now another step you need to perform what is that that is this one run update minimum short circuit current run update minimum short circuit current you can notice once you have selected once you have selected from this study case editor once you have selected minimum then it will show this cursor just hover over this cursor and it will show run update minimum short circuit kiloamps if it is maximum if you choose maximum click ok now you see run update short circuit kiloamps so this is the difference so we want to run this minimum because we want to show in the tcc curve so select minimum from study case editor next run an update minimum short circuit kiloamps okay now the minimum short circuit current is showing in the entire network now go to the tcc curve now go to the tcc curve here so we are talking about this let's check this here you can see now it is showing as 2.48 kiloamps this is tcc minimum current symmetrical current is 2.48 kiloamps and also single line to ground fault also these values are showing now let's check in the tcc curve whether this 2.48 kiloamps is showing this minimum short circuit current 2.48 kiloamps is showing or not okay here this is showing yeah so as you can see 2.48 2.48 kiloamps it is showing so this is the minimum this is the minimum three phase short circuit current for this relay this is minimum and this is maximum 2.99 maximum 2.99 and minimum 2.48 kiloamps so these two values are showing these two values are showing in the tcc curve if you go if you want to check the ground fault also in the ground fault yes this is relay 5 yeah so what is showing here this is 0.314 kiloamps so this is 0.314 kiloamps it is showing okay and tcc minimum you can check you can check this box so point point two eight five 
let's check 0.285 minimum yeah 0.285 0 0.285 kilohms it is showing so this is minimum ground fault current 0.285 and maximum is 0.314 kilohms because yeah 0.314 kilohms maximum and minimum is 0.285 so these two values are reflected in the tcc curves so what you have learned from this video that maximum three phase fault current minimum three phase fault current how to show in the tcc curve maximum single line to ground fault current minimum single line to ground fault current how to show in the tcc curve you have already learned now i will show another thing this is the tcc kilograms calculated and reference kv also calculated this base kv it is the calculated value and this tcc kilograms this is also calculated this is also calculated value but if as a user you you want to define that particular short circuit current here then what you will do you will select this user defined now you can see you can define here three phase kilograms or single line to ground fault kilograms you can you can change let's say this is five five kilograms i want to define based on my system requirement based on my uh, that three phase fault current for that particular feeder for that particular feeder not the connecting bus if it is five kilograms i want to change i can so i have changed this as five but this reference base kv it is not changed if i want to change this base reference kv also i can put here user defined value so for phase ground sensitive ground whatever maybe you can define let's say instead of 6.866 i want to define as 6.6 .6 kv okay so if i define here this is also 6.6 .6 kv if i define then 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 you will see click ok and here you can see this is this value this is at 6.6 .6 kv reference 6.6 .6 kv and 5 kilohms for the phase fault go to the phase fault yeah go to the phase fault here okay this is this is 33 yeah this is a relay 6 i think i have changed here for this relay for this relay okay let's select this relay go to tcck kilohms if i uh, select user defined let's say instead of 2.99 let's say it is 2.4 2.4 kilohms and also the reference kv for phase it is 33 kv this is 33 kv and these two are checked here let's see it is changed this is minimum 2.48 kilohms at 33 kv reference voltage is changed and here this is 2.4 this is 2.4 k kiloamps because this is the user defined value i have changed this instead of two previously it was 2.99 so instead of 2.99 now it is showing 2.4 because it is user defined value i have changed based on my uh, fault current of that particular feeder if i change this then the same can be shown the same can be reflected in the tcc curve as well and also if you can notice the reference uh, kv reference voltage also changed here this is at 33 kv voltage reference 2.4 kiloamps so in this way you can change you can change the tcc kiloamps tcc kiloamps for the three phase fault and ground fault for maximum and minimum 
this can be user defined and also the reference voltage that can be defined by the user so in this way you can customize your tcc curve you can customize based on your requirement based on the project requirement what uh, why i am telling because the calculated by default if you select that calculated value and it is the recommended one by by itaf also this is the recommended one that we should keep uh, the recommended the calculated value calculated value and the calculated reference kv this is recommended but some of the cases we have seen in the real time scenario in the real time projects that this delay will see the fault current flowing through particular through this feeder but what it app will show you the calculated value that depends that is depending on the bus fault current this connecting bus fault current let's say this fault current is 5 kilo amps but this relay will never see 5 kilo amps because because this feeder through this feeder the fault contribution should be less than 5 kilo amps so in that case in that case to present in the tcc curve you need to uh, define that the user value that user defined value for that particular relay so in that case it may be required that uh, we need to define this we need to define this as a user user defined value not the calculated one if it is calculated it is 2.99 let's say this is applicable for that connecting bus but that feeder that means the relay connecting to that particular feeder will never see this much of short circuit fault current which is 2.99 kilo amps it should be be below than that value so in that case let's say is the contribution maybe 2 kilo amps only so we need to define as 2 kilo amps so in that way you can customize this tcc curve as per the requirement that means feeder wise feeder wise requirement in some of the cases client will tell you client may tell you no no this relay will not see will never see this relay will never see the bus fault current so why why this this much of fault current we are considering yes it's true if it is required technically also it is justified if it's required then we can user define that value not 5 kilo amps maybe 2 kilo amps only current that reflected fault current if there is any fault here in the bus uh, low voltage side then what will be the reflected value so based on that we can define particularly for this feeder we can define this user defined value and we can this will be user defined value and we can show in the tcc curve like this i hope uh, some value addition is there still if you have any doubt you can put your comment in the comment box